friends in the last two classes we have seen two art forms from various part of india one was from the madhubani region of bihar that was the madhubani painting and one was from the central region of india that was the gon painting in today's class let us go to south of india and see a folk painting of the karnataka state so today we will discuss chitra painting and understand the te technique used by the artist so as you have seen in one of the previous classes that this is a form of folk painting that is done on walls of the houses and in baskets uh, and door frames etc so this is an example of a chitra painting on a basket uh, that is made of bamboo but it has been given a coating of mud and over that the chitra painting is done Chitra or Hase Chitra is a folk art practiced by the Devaru community in Shimoga, Sagar and Uttar Kannada district of Karnataka. The walls are colored with red mud found abundant abundantly in the region and designs are drawn in white paint derived from rice paste and white mud. The lines and patterns on this paintings each symbolizes an, as an aspect of nature or depict the religious social agricultural practices of the community. So you can relate this to the worldly painting that we have seen uh, before. Uh, so in worldly painting also the uh, uh, mud walls are painted with white paint. Same as same for Chetara, the mud walls here uh, are painted with white paints. The stylized figures of Chetara painting are generally symbols of brides and grooms, fertility, the sowing of the auspicious paddy, birds, trees, animals, etc. So these are some of the you know common motives uh, that we see in chitra art musicians place auspicious music brides and grooms effect yogic poses or stand in conjugal harmony so these are some of the motives that is depicted in chitra painting the delicacy in its uh, delineation and its repetitiveness so it is the patterns are repeated and uh, the you know uh, the uniqueness is, it, is how fine the you know uh, the painting is done the patterns are repeated and you will see repeated patterns in uh, most of the paintings. The practice of drawing this art is accompanied by music and singing. Every situation and chord depicts on the wall has a relevant song. Themes, each line and pattern of the painting symbolize an aspect of nature or depict the religious, socio agricultural practices of the community. So, uh, the people that they were the community of Karnataka are very close to nature and this is also depicted in the art form like many other art forms of India. We have seen previously in Gon art, in Whirly art, in Madhubani art that peop, uh, the artists depict whatever they see around them. Same is for Chitra. Types, while the design and the painting are common across the entire com uh, community, the paintings are divided into three types according to the use of color. They are Bili Hase use of white color that is derived from rice flour, uh, Kapu Hase use of red color and it is derived from red mud, Kemanu Hase use of black color and it is derived from charcoal. So based on the colors used on the paintings, uh, the paintings can be divided into three types. Base, the drawings are done on the walls, door frames and window frames. It can also be done on bamboo basket that we have seen in the first slide. Generally the base is uh, kemenu, uh, red earth. While decorating the bamboo basket, the base is prepared by applying the mixture of red, uh, red earth and cow dung. So, uh, chitara painting is also done on bamboo baskets and the bamboo basket is given a coating of cow dung and red earth and over that the painting is done. Material used, the material used are natural like in most of the uh, folk art, the community makes its own colors deriving from natural sources such as bark of trees, wild berries, seeds, 
rocks, minerals and vegetables, red earth, rice flour, coal and uh, various kinds of uh, you know uh, berries, li limestone, turmeric, milk etcetera are used to prepare white, black and red and yellow color uh, which are derived from this natural uh, elements. Brush, the natural brush made by grass straw and a natural fiber are used to draw the lines. The fiber is inserted in the straw and the knot is tied to keep it in firm and in place like this. So, the brush is made with na uh, natural fiber and it is tied to a knot so that the you know the artist gets a firm hold of it. Different chitara art. Hasegori depicts, so there are three kinds of, uh, there are, can be various uh, uh, chitra art, but we are discussing three different f types, uh, so that uh, you know that uh, the art form has many different, you know, uh, 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 you know, nuances of it. Hasegori depicts the wedding hall, which elaborate details of the mantap. So, this Hasegori chitra depicts the mantap of a wedding guest, the couple and festive mood. In the center is the sacred place where the uh, wedding ceremony takes place and, uh, and as, uh, seated around them uh, is the entire community who has come to bless the uh, couple. So, you will see in Chitra art, uh, wedding scene is very common. You will see uh, because this art is also done during the wedding uh, of uh, you know, members of the Diwari community. So, you will see that uh, the wedding scenes are quite common in this kind of, uh, in this type of, this form of art. So, Hasegode depicts the wedding scene where uh, there will be a sacred uh, space uh, and around which people will be seated, such as this. So, in the, in the center you see the, in the square, you see the couple seated, the bride and the bridegroom, uh, around it are the, you know, uh, depicting the people sitting around and there are some bird figures who are thought to be. Uh, auspicious and in the bottom, here in the bottom you can see some musicians play, playing musical instruments here. Here you see the bird figure and these are the sacred pots, these are the sacred pots. Mundige Chitra represents the pillars of the home. In the center is the palanquin which carries the bride and the bridegroom. The Kelu Kumba on the top represents a sacred pot of water. On either side are the arms of Cupid, god of love, who blesses the couple. At the bottom are the folk performers who plays the sacred music. So, Mundige Chitra is also uh, represents the uh, you know the uh, wedding scene where the bride and the bridegroom uh, are carried in palanquin, such as this. So, this is the sacred uh, po uh, pot carrying water. It is supposed to be very sacred in the, within the community. Here is the bride and a bridegroom in a palanquin. Therige Mane Theru depicts a large chariot like wheel which is used in the temples of South India to take the idols and, uh, of gods and goddesses in procession during temple festivals. So, this kind of painting depicts the procession uh, of uh, the temples carrying the idol of gods and goddesses. The Devaru tribal believe in Marama and Holy Yama tribal goddesses who are depicted in the paintings. The birds on the vehicle escort the goddesses in the procession while the tribal men are shown pulling the chariot with ropes such as this. So, here are the men pulling the chariot with the ropes. Here is the idol of God. Here are some bird figures. So, this is another form of Chitra painting. So, this is depicting the temple procession. Let us see some of the motives that are commonly used in Chitra painting. So, this is Siti Munde, which depicts the uh, process, the way a uh, sari is draped, and it also uh, says that one should have a disciplined lifestyle. This motif represents uh, that one should have a disciplined lifestyle and it, things should be done in certain fashion, so that there is 
uh, we gain success in our life in whatever we do. So, this motif actually represents the, the way a sari is to be draped. Uh, these are two lines, these are actually the base of any chitara painting which uh, in, uh, no chitara painting can start without uh, these two lines. The first the painting begins with drawing two parallel lines, these lines are supposed to represent uh, attraction between two people. It can be a attraction or a bond between a mother and a child or a couple or any other such relationship and uh, uh, this is a sacred you know at bond between two people. So, this is Neeli and Neeli Koche, uh, so the, the Devaru community build their houses using bamboo and the you know the bamboos are arranged in this diagonal fashion, uh, the, when the bamboos are arranged in diagonal fashion it is called Neeli and when one more layer of uh, uh, bamboo is put over it. Uh, again diagonally to the first layer, then it is called Neeli Koshi, it, is, it, it symbolizes the strength, uh, because the bamboo gives protection, the bamboo hut gives protection from all the you know natural uh, uh, calamities or you know uh, it protects the family from it. So, the bamboo this kind of uh, figures actually represents strength. So, this is another commonly used motif in Chitra painting, this represents the crown of divinity and it is also sometimes shown in uh, bride, uh, the bride and the bridegroom. Just to say that uh, during the marriage the bride and the bridegroom are supposed to be equal to the divinity, it is a symbol of uh, purity and divinity. So, this is another uh, motif uh, which is uh, generally used uh, around uh, the bride and the bridegroom uh, for decoration. So, this is jelly sattu which symbolizes offering. So, this this type of uh, strap is also shown uh, uh, you know around the bride and the bridegroom when the wedding scene is depicted. It is said that it is it symbolizes offering and it, it is also a symbol of purity. This is a strap shown around the head of the bridegroom. So, these are flowers, uh, 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 mostly they are of yellow and orange color, uh, which uh, sort of uh, you know depicts the marigold flower. These flowers are shown in, de uh, uh, in the decoration of the wedding halls and in some op auspicious occasion. This flower is uh, supposed to uh, symbolize friendship. And it is also to say that when uh, uh, two people get married, the families actually become friends, the two people actually be become friends. So, the flowers represent friendship. This is a, uh, a symbol of oneness, this also depicts the you know uh, the eyes, uh, the eyes of a person. Uh, so, uh, it is said that one should not discriminate be between different people, everyone should be equal for uh, uh, for everyone like there should be no should be no differentiation between two human beings so this is another intersecting layer which uh, is also used while building a, a house uh, which gives strength and uh, this uh, this symbol is a symbol of help that you know one should be helping each other while uh, while construction people help each other so this also symbolizes help, this symbol also sim, uh, talks about help, helping each other. So, this represents the butterfly or a honey bee, uh, so this symbol is uh, actually uh, uh, talks about guest, how you should be treating your guest. In, uh, in, in Indian tradition guests are supposed to be equal to gods, so this uh, symbol says that whenever there is guest in the house you should be totally respectful towards them. So, this is a rooster or a, a you know hen, this symbolizes economic growth in the Devari community, uh, a rooster is exchanged for uh, other things like in barter system or sometimes the eggs of the hen is sold and also the hen uh, works 
uh, as a clock where there is uh, no clock and it tells you about the time. So, this rooster or the hen is supposed to symbolize economic growth. If you respect time, if you you know uh, do your work in time, uh, uh, you, you know you will progress in life. This uh, in, on one hand it also says that and then on the other hand it directly also says that the hen or the rooster is uh, by selling the hen or the rooster you know the community people derives money or economic benefit or by selling its egg or by exchanging it with for other things. So, it also symbolizes economic growth. So, this is uh, support and awareness uh, it is uh, during the wed uh, it is uh, you know shown in wedding scenes mostly saying that a couple should help each other uh, so that they, they progress in life and they should support each other. So, this is a couple a bride and a bridegroom which uh, show, you know uh, symbolizes eternal bonding that there should be love between couple unconditional love. So, this is a, a, a thread of flowers it is actually the bud of jasmine flowers uh, which if, you know symbolizes fragrance. fragrance. You can see how the buds are represented around the thread. <coughs> so, this also talks about having a pleasant feeling, uh, no bitterness, no you know ugliness. So, this uh, strand also represents uh, you know good feelings, positive feelings. This is uh, this represents a saw which is used to cut bamboo. Uh, it symbolizes sharpness. It is said that you have to be sharp in your attitude towards life to in order to succeed. This is uh, this actually uh, uh, symbolizes the betel leaf uh, which uh, has medicinal value and it is also uh, you uh, had after having meal which helps in absorption of the food. So, this symbolizes prosperity this is the beetle leaf actually. This is the uh, uh, this uh, is a pile of grains uh, which is kept after harvest. It talks about the prosperous womb or fertility in a woman. This is also depicted in a wedding scene saying that uh, you know to depict that to bless the bride uh, with a prosperous uh, womb. So, that she can have lots of offsprings. This is banana leaf which is used to depict uh, separation. Uh, um, so, when you uh, during a painting this is used to uh, you know uh, divide the painting in different uh, sections. So, uh, uh, a banana leaf is a sustainable uh, it is uh, uh, it is it is used in packages, it is used to have meals, it is a sustainable kind of uh, sustainable kind of uh, uh, you know uh, purpose it has. So, Lewari community use the banana leaf quite uh, you know often in their day to day life. This is a, a plate of arti, arti is the small uh, lights uh, you know used uh, to during festival times or to you know pay obeisance to the god. So, this uh, uh, a plate of small lights or arti it symbolizes light and it talks about dispelling darkness with light. Look at the patterns it is a it is a geometrical pattern it is done. This represents the uh, nose pin of the women it symbolizes femininity it also uh, symbolizes the marital status of women. This is used in the Chitara painting to define uh, to depict femininity. This is a kind of uh, farming weapon which is used to remove particular kind of weed. It is to say that uh, we should have a particular way to combat particular problems in life. So, the farming tool is used to symbolize that to give a lesson in life skills. 
that is to remove uh, you know unwanted things from your life. This is a kind of banana which are grown locally. This is shown to depict abundance. This is uh, to depict the holy feet of Basava, in which is drawn in front of cow shed. Basava is a important deity of the Divadu community. This is a hand fan used by the people of the Divadi community. This uh, symbolizes air or freshness. This is a yogic po posture. Uh, you will see many yogic posture in Chitra painting. Here, um, uh, here uh, the person is sitting in a cr cross legs. So, these are, these are some of the geometric uh, pattern that you will see in Chitra painting and it has a meaning that the you know person is sitting in a yogic position. So, this is a uh, you know a representation of, uh, of a space uh, of a you know enclosure, it's, uh, it also symbolizes uh, the heart of a person. It is said that the heart of a person should be pure and the holiest place is the heart of a human being, which is sacred according to the belief of the Devadi community. So, this symbol also represents space as well as the heart of a person. Pay attention to how it is represented. This is a sanctum centurium that is the holy place where the gods are kept. So, this is a wheat. Uh, which is uh, uh, drawn uh, in the Chitra paintings. This says that uh, 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 there, uh, there could be unnecessary things that are in our life, but we should avoid them, we should avoid destruction, so that we are focused in our life. This, to, this is to represent that we should not get distracted by the problems or the destruction in our life, but we should remain focused. This is a palanquin used to carry gods and goddesses, but it is also shown carrying the newlyweds. That is to say that during the wedding day, the bride and the bridegroom are no less than god and goddesses. They are sacred and they, are, they should be revered. So, this is a form of uh, uh, to show uh, offsprings. Uh, this is drawn again in wedding scenes of uh, Chitra painting. This is to say that the elders give blessings to the couple, so that they have lots of offsprings. So, this is a bird, a symbol of a bird which is used to depict loyalty. This is actually a bird who is incubating in the nest, protecting and guarding her eggs while the male has gone out to fetch food for them, food for her. This is to say that the both the male and the female in a, uh, in a relationship should be loyal to each other while one takes care of the home other goes to fetch food, but they should remain loyal. The, the, the uh, couple should have enough trust in each other, so that uh, they have a successful life. So, friends these are the, some of the motifs uh, used in Chitra painting. Uh, please go through the slides and see how they are represented, but I must say that these, are, these uh, symbols which I have shown you are not exhaustive. There are very many other symbols to depict different aspects of life. The Chitara painting has a large vocabulary which talks about different aspects of life and how um, you know uh, one should have a uh, you know uh, good life uh, and a very prosperous life uh, is depicted in Chitara painting. Uh, so, uh, you can see that uh, the symbols used in the paintings are related to the belief system of the Devare community, what they think are the values of the community. So, looking at each of the symbols of other folk paintings also, you can understand the world view of the community. You can see what values they give importance to in their lives. So, we stop today with this. We will uh, discuss the techniques of another art form in the next class. See you then.